Hey guys, it is March 7th, 2021, and we are actually experiencing some wonderful weather. It's about 62 degrees outside, and here in the greenhouse, you can see it is almost 100 degrees. So we've got a lot of exciting things happening in the greenhouse. It's spring in here, right, uh, at those temperatures, but if you look behind me here, you can see these tomato plants are dying look horrible so we're gonna go in here and we're gonna get all the dead tomatoes out of the way and then I'm gonna cut this back and we're gonna eat all the yummy good tomatoes and get those taken care of as well and then I'm gonna show you some of the other things that are happening on the citrus trees because it's awesome <laughs> okay so if you see here we've had a bunch of tomatoes that have fallen on the ground and so we're gonna pick up all these off the ground and get rid of them Okay, so I just cut the tomato plants back a ton. I'm not sure if I killed them or if they'll produce better now. We got rid of all the dead stuff, got rid of all the tomatoes, the good ones and the bad ones. And uh, so one thing I noticed this morning was that there's little green caterpillars all over everything and all these little black eggs, which I'm guessing are caterpillar eggs too. So we just got rid of a bunch of caterpillars and eggs and hopefully doing that helped. I'll probably order some some, uh, some sort of bug. I'll research what bug's the best to get rid of caterpillars to get the rest of them. But I'm there's actually one crawling right here. So I'm gonna turn the camera on it really quick and show you what I'm dealing with. Okay, so that's one of the guys that's crawling around here in the greenhouse. Oh, here's a bigger one. This shows you what we're dealing with here. I'm not sure what kind of caterpillar that is, but I know they are doing a lot of damage in here. Let's get this angle over here. All right, guys, so I wasn't gonna do another video for like another two weeks, but we've got a lot of really exciting things happening in here. So I'm gonna show you what I did to the tomato plants, and then I'm gonna show you the citrus trees. You are not gonna believe what is happening with the citrus trees right now. Okay, so there's the tomato plants. As you can see, there's almost nothing left of them. Hopefully I didn't kill them. But uh, what I'm hoping is now new fresh branches will grow off of these and we'll get better fruit. Uh, made a little discovery here. I planted tomato seeds in these last year. Sorry, strawberry seeds in here last year. And you see somehow one of them survived without me doing anything. So looking into this corner, you can see that the lily koi plant right here is doing awesome. Now I'm gonna show you the other lily koi real quick and show you the bad thing that's happening there. Here's the other lily koi and you can see the caterpillars got all over it. I pulled like 25 caterpillars off this one little tree, but you can see the leaves here are just destroyed and this branch right here is dead. Thank you caterpillars. Then, checking in on our acorn experience, if you zoom in closer here, you can see we've got a little oak tree growing right here, and one here, and then another one back over here. So that experiment's going well. And then if you look at our strawberries, we actually have a little strawberry growing right here, and over here, they're actually growing all over the place. And if you look right here, you can see we've got some beautiful little flowers. Okay, and so those stinking caterpillars also got to my plants. If you look in here really quick, you see these two here, my new seeds are doing awesome. But if you look really close right here and here, you can see that they ate the leaves off. So unfortunately, I'm pretty sure those ones will not survive. Uh, but if you look right here as well, you can see got a little plant growing there as well. So we do have our first seeds growing. Okay, and so now for my pride and joy, my orange trees. You can see we still have oranges growing here. That's great. And you can see some little flowers, some little blooms there. We got some more blooms here and here. You can see lots of new growth. So that's all great news. But what you can't see is that this tree literally has 100 or more oranges growing on it. We've got the nice big bright orange oranges growing. But if you look in here nice and close, I'm gonna flip the camera around. I'm gonna show you all these teeny tiny little green balls everywhere. Okay, so like if you look in here, you can see all these tiny little green balls. These are all future oranges, baby, baby oranges, but they're growing all over the place. And if you see, if you look up through here, 
there's even bigger ones. So we've got little oranges growing all over the place in here. Then here's the grapefruit tree. I wasn't sure if we were gonna get anything out of it this year, but if you look down here, we are starting to bloom again. So for the first time today, I noticed that the grapefruit tree is blooming. Then we come back over to this other orange tree. Once again, you're seeing blooms everywhere and new growth. And then of course we have the old oranges still growing there. Matter of fact, I should have pointed out, we still have one last grapefruit chilling back there. Probably about time to eat that one. But you can see we're getting some nice sized oranges growing on this tree here. So hopefully we'll get some oranges out of this tree this year. For the lemon tree, this is awesome too. If you come up here, you can see got a little lemon growing right here. Got like five growing up in there, if you can see those. And then we actually have a whole bunch going back through there and back over there. Let me zoom in and show you that one. Okay, and so last we have the lime tree and there's a couple of limes growing on here. That is a nice size lime growing right there. But the good news is we actually have another one growing right here. It's about the same size. And then if you look back here, you've got this guy here and this guy here. So they're kind of hard to see, but there's actually a bunch of limes growing on this tree. I actually have a few other things I wanna to do tomorrow or Tuesday. Probably gonna go out and put the steer manure around the rhubarb and kind of show you that process. And I wanna do some other things as well. Oh my goodness, there is another caterpillar. These guys are wreaking havoc and cause me problems everywhere. Hey guys, it is Monday, March 8th, 2021. And you'll notice today I am in t-shirts, shorts, flip-flops. That's because it's a balming 56 degrees outside today, warm for this time of the year. But I wanna show you a couple things really quick before we bring this video to a close. Right now I'm out in the yard and I wanna show you the rhubarb because we've got some little pieces starting to pop up. And probably tomorrow I got some of this, uh, what is it called? Holy cow, I cannot think of the name right now. Cattle manure. Yes, we've got cattle manure that we're gonna put all around these. We do that every year and they produce like crazy. So I'm gonna flip the camera around really quick and show you the rhubarb. Okay, so here is the garden bed for the rhubarb. And if you come in here and look at this really quick, we can remove some of this stuff from last year, but you can see these little pieces right here. We got rhubarb already starting to pop up. So. Here we get, there you go. See, look, the first leaf of the season's right there. Okay, so the last thing uh, later on today, I'm actually going to go on to Amazon.com and we want to order some of those bugs that do this. What are they called? Oh, yeah. And we're going to order some of those praying mantis, and that should take care of the caterpillar problem. We have gotten rid of a ton of the caterpillars, but look at this. As I speak, look, there's a caterpillar right there causing havoc. Anyways, I know we've got hundreds in here still, even though we got rid of a bunch yesterday. But I've always loved caterpillars, but they can't be in our greenhouses, so I'm gonna have to get rid of them. Okay, here we go. Got my little watery thingy here and watering the plants. If you have any questions or comments or suggestions or recommendations or anything like that, please send it to me. Uh, this is just a giant experiment for me. This uh, channel actually started out as more of a journal, so I can kind of see the progress of the greenhouse over the years. But uh, hopefully you're enjoying it and hopefully you're learning from it. If you are enjoying the video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't yet, please hit the subscribe button below and ring the bell to be notified each time I post new videos. And uh, we'll just catch you guys next time. Thanks.